U.S. Navy to convert Zumwalt destroyer into hypersonic missile strike vessel, with 2027 tests planned. According to the U.S. Government Accountability Office GAO, report published in June 2025, the U.S. Navy is making significant progress in transforming its Zumwalt-class destroyer fleet from land attack platforms into advanced surface strike vessels, equipped with the conventional prompt strike CPS, hypersonic missile system. This shift will make the Zumwalt class the Navy's first operational maritime hypersonic platform, with the lead ship USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 scheduled for a live-fire CPS demonstration in 2027. Originally designed for land attack and littoral dominance, the Zumwalt class introduced a radical design emphasizing stealth, automation, and advanced weaponry. Central to its original concept were two 155mm advanced gun systems, AGS, intended to fire the now-canceled long-range land attack projectile, LRLAP. With LRLAP terminated in 2016 due to excessive cost, the AGS lost its strategic value, prompting the Navy to redefine the class's role. The current modernization reorients the Zumwalt class toward hypersonic capability. The Navy has removed the AGS mounts from the ship's forward deckhouse, replacing them with a large missile vertical launch system, LMVLS, a new launcher capable of handling the much larger CPS hypersonic missiles. Unlike the standard Mark 41 vertical launch system used on other surface combatants, LMVLS features wider and deeper cells to accommodate the CPS canisters and their launch infrastructure. This major structural overhaul is considered one of the most significant weapons conversions in modern U.S. naval history. In tandem with physical modifications, the program is also developing advanced fire control and mission software tailored for CPS operations, covering trajectory planning, target coordination, and joint force integration. Officials have identified software integration as a high-risk area, with a prototype payload module expected in spring 2025. This module is essential, acting as the interface between the ship's launch systems and the hypersonic weapon. Other legacy systems aboard the Zumwalt class are being updated to support its new mission. While the Mark 57 peripheral VLS, originally used for Tomahawk and standard missiles, remains on board, it now plays a secondary role. The ship's AN-SPY-3 multifunction radar and Total Ship Computing Environment TSCE are also being upgraded to support long-range hypersonic targeting and mission coordination across joint networks. Thanks to its stealth profile, integrated power system, IPS, and reduced crew requirements through automation, the Zumwalt class is uniquely suited for the hypersonic mission. This transformation marks a significant milestone in the Navy's modernization roadmap, paving the way for a new surface warfare doctrine built on distributed lethality and rapid precision strike capability.
Once operational, CPS armed Zumwalt class destroyers will deliver an unmatched combination of stealth, survivability, and first strike potential. Able to penetrate high threat, anti access environments with extraordinary speed and power. <laughs>